Yo, guys. Yes, this is it. I'm actually live streaming. Dude, this is like the first live stream I've ever done on PCGO. I, th I think I've done it before in the past, but oh my god, it was horrible. Like, it was really, really bad. So I don't know if this is going to be any worse or any better, to be honest with you. I'm kind of, still kind of nervous, you know, I'm still kind of up in arms. But, uh, you know, I still want to try this out and uh, see how this goes. Um, you know, I want to I wanna see if, like, this live stream ends good. Who knows? Um, obviously, you're probably watching this as a VOD. Um, so right now, no one's in my chat, but you might be watching this as a VOD. It's possible. So if you are... Shout out to you. Uh, yeah, so shout out to you. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I got someone in the chat. Yo, shout out to you, Big Red Mega Gyarados. And, yeah, it's gonna be lit. Now, I'm gonna find some games in a minute. I need to just make sure my game isn't, like, really laggy. I gotta make sure the stream has, like, decent frame rate. Um, because I actually tried live streaming before on, like, I have, I have another account. Like, it's a Walking Dead channel, but, like... I've tried streaming on there and like the frame rate was just so bad. So I need to retest the frame rate here. I've already tried it. And oh, thank you, Big Reg Megardos. That means a lot. I don't know why I'm, I'm typing this in the chat too. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Alright, so I need to just make sure there's not going to be much lag. Um, and yeah, as long as, the, as long as the stream doesn't have like really bad frame rate, I, we should be okay. Um, so we'll see. I'm probably just going to be testing out a bunch of different decks. To be honest with you, I have a bunch of decks that, like, I use, but I don't use at the same time. It's kind of weird. Um, so we'll, we'll try out a few decks here. We'll see how they go. And hopefully if frame rate issues, then I could be able to live stream a lot more often. Don't know how often, but, uh, we'll see. So we'll see. Okay, I should be back on now, hopefully, right? Am I? Okay, yeah, I am. I swear. Dude, okay, my internet might poop out sometimes, and it might be weird, so that's kind of the thing. Um, by the way, I'm just, I'm doing a test game here against, like, a bot, just to show off, uh, I don't know, <laughs> my Mega Ray Jolteon deck, which I don't even think I've updated yet since, uh, GR came out. But yeah, I might get these issues where my game just, like, my internet, like, poops out. But yeah, okay. If, let me know if there's any, uh, stream lag, or, like, frame rate, not stream lag, there obviously will be stream lag, but let me know if the FPS is gonna be really wonky, um, I need to know, so, hopefully it's not, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just testing this deck out against the bot, just so we can test to see if the game's gonna lag, cause the only time I think we'll get low FPS is when we're doing a game, so, I'm just gonna do, like, a quick test game here against the bot, and just see if the, the frame rate's gonna be bad or not. So I don't know. If the frame rate's bad, just leave it. Um, it's fine. Okay. Is that wait? Is that about the uh the the stream, like getting disconnected because my really bad internet, or was it like the frame rate? Let me know. Uh, I'm just gonna grab Mega Ray. I, it doesn't even matter what I grab. I'm playing against a bot. Like, what am I even doing? Uh, okay. But this, this hand's actually not too bad. Obviously, it's it's a bot. Who cares? But yeah, we're gonna be testing out a lot of decks. I'll probably do viewer battles too. Um. I'll probably do some beer battles. It'll be pretty fun. I don't really know what decks I'm really, like, I'm testing out, though, to be honest. Like, I have a few decks that I've made up. I, like, a lot of the time on this game, I spend time just, like, constructing decks and, like, just chilling a deck manager. Like, I sometimes I'll come on this game for, like, a good half hour. Not even play a single match, but just, like, create a bunch of decks. So, that, that's how I spend my time. But I don't know. We can probably do it while we're streaming. I don't know. Um... But yeah, again, I'm for anyone who's new, I'm just playing against a bot just to test the frame rate on the stream and see if the frame rate's any good or not. Because again, I don't want to live stream if the frame rate's gonna be really bad and like it's gonna be really choppy. I can't, I can't upload that. Like, I can't stream. Um, but I did test this on my second Walking Dead account and it seemed to actually be okay. So there wasn't much frame rate. 
um, issues. So hopefully, hopefully it's not the case here. Hopefully we have some good frame rate. Everything is all good and dandy. So let's let's just let's pray. Let's pray. But yeah, again, just playing against the bot, just you know, doing some test runs. Just and then we'll start doing games. I'll definitely do fear matches too. So if you guys want to play, definitely we'll be doing that. All right. I need actually. Let me just check. Hold on. If I can check my live here on my uh, YouTube thing, maybe it'll show me if there's any stream like or not. I just don't want to like make my internet 60 FPS. I uploaded my video in 60 FPS through rendering, but and, oh, hello Dawson, shout out to you. And yeah, shout out to you Dawson. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, a good friend of mine here on uh, PDCGO and a fan on YouTube sent me two promo Lorantises, um, basically for free. So shout out to him. His name is O Dog. Oh, uh, is he online? Yeah, odog29, shout out to you, thank you so much, I'll give you like a special shout out thank you to in the video where I actually use the grass types with the Lorantis. I'll, I'll probably be doing a grass type soon, um, okay, so we're doing a dark daily, a dark daily knockout, or damage thing, whatever, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, uh, what to play, I might just play Umbreon Hammers to be honest with you, this is a deck I'm kind of wanting to try out, is Umbreon Hammers, I guess we'll play. I mean, we could also do... Yeah, I guess Umbreon Hammer is fine. Sure, we'll play this deck. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll play the Umbreon Hammers deck. The funnest deck of all time. Kappa. Oh, yeah, there might be a few, like, weird frame rate drops here and there. Looking at it here. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's obviously not going to be as good as quality as my normal videos are. But, you know, hopefully it's all good and, like... It's not, like, really choppy and stuff. But it's my first stream... So, when I upload this to my channel afterwards, we'll see. I don't know how long I'll be streaming for, maybe like an hour at most. I might do a lot of late night streams, just, you know, if I'm ever playing this game late at night, I can just chill, start streaming on YouTube. I'm probably not going to do Twitch streams. The reason why I'm not going to do Twitch streams is because I like YouTube streaming a lot more. Like, you can make, um, you know, thumbnails and stuff like that, which is pretty fun. Um, thank you, Daniel and Dawson with the fire. I'm telling you, man, this stream, is, for the first stream, it is going to be fire, but yo, shout out and hello to you, Daniel. Aguilar, I'm sorry if I uh, butchered your last name there, but you know, shout out to you, Daniel, and uh, yeah, thanks for the cool stream. Thanks, means a lot. Um, means a lot. Again, it's my first stream, so you never know. It might be like really, really bad, but you never know. Um, but our hand's actually pretty dead here. I'm not gonna lie. We actually, I didn't, I don't like the start. I don't really like starting with Lele. Um, and it looks like playing against a Xerneas deck, which not terrible because we actually do have a lot of ways to get rid of his energy, which is a good thing. But he is resistant to us, which is not a good thing. Um, okay, so all of our Umbreon's in the deck. Uh, one hammer's prized. <laughs> Alright, we still have our Skull Grunts. Alright, our hand is okay. We can we can definitely roll with it. Our hand is decent. Um, okay, so we'll put down Eevee. And we gotta find a switching card here. Gotta find a switching card. Um, next turn anyways. So we'll go into Umbreon. And I guess I'm just gonna... I don't know. This matchup's kind of awkward because, again, resistance to dark... We do have the energy discarding cards, which is the only good thing. And what? Okay. Bro, these hands are just not, not having it. Hopefully he ends me. I'm just going to play Eevee and pray that my dude ends me here, because this hand is atrocious. <laughs> oh my god. If I have to Sycamore this, I'm going to cry. We see a town map. And, okay. So he's playing Galvantula. So he doesn't play a bunch of EXs, which is fine. Gal like, Joltik has really low HP, so that's a really easy target for Shadow Bullet. He might play the Carbink, though, with the ability. That might be a problem. Um, but he's going to belt him. So he doesn't play Choice Band, which is interesting. I mean, the belt's going to give us more problems, because it actually takes away our two-shot potential. Um, so that sucks. I can't remember if I updated this. Oh, no, I did. I, I remember I saw Field Glower. It's cool. Yeah, I always keep an eye out for deck videos. Thank you so much, man. It means a lot. Anyone who watches my videos it means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Getting back to the game. So we see an Ultra Ball. <laughs> he had discarded Escape Rope. That would, that would have been nice for him to play. But yeah, I'm hoping my opponent ends me here. Because, yeah, we really desperately need to get a new hand. Because, yeah, if I have the Sycamore away, <laughs> two DCs and two more Darks, that's not good. I might even just... I mean, we can attack with Tapa Lele, I guess. It's not too bad. Ooh, he passes. He had nothing going for it. That's good. I mean, we, I would I say that we can't knock it out. I guess we just energy drive him for a little bit of 40 damage. This lets us two-shot him again. So, we can, I guess, just attack with Tapu Lele. We can put some decent pressure on, I guess. Like, it's like, yo, fam, if you want to put a bunch of energy on, we got my boy Tapu Lele. And he's just passing. I mean, it's not really advancing my uh, daily dark challenge. 
but you know we gotta switch so i think now we'll just start going shadow bullet and win the game next turn that's fine yeah we'll go hit him for 70 and then yeah win the game next turn unless he plays pokemon down or does enhanced hammer and we also have dark call so my opponent tries to get some energy down we'll just be like all right we'll dark call that away which seems fine um Aiden, um, even though I just started watching you, I think you're an amazing PDC Joe streamer and player. Thank you. I mean, it's my first stream, but thank you. It means a lot. It really does. Thank you guys for all the kind words. It's really, really keeps me motivated. Do you play the card game IRL? I used to, like, a while ago. Like, I have a... Oh, he Lysandered me. Rip. I don't think we can actually retreat. Actually, no, we can. No, we can't. Yeah, we can't. But yeah, I used to play IRL a long time ago, like, Three years ago, I think, is when I quit. The reason I stopped playing is because I actually ended up moving not too far away from my local GameStop. But again, then money is also tight. The card game in real life does cost a lot of money, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, and uh, dang it, we whiffed. All right, rip, rip winning this turn. Uh, I guess we can do strafe here. But yeah, I used to play in real life a while ago, but again, not anymore because it's just too expensive. Um, I haven't bought a card pack in a long time, too. Um, maybe it's just because I don't really want to, like, buy cards in, like, at my school, because my school's really close to a Walmart, so, like, I could easily walk there any day to buy cards, but I don't know. Too many people I know work at Walmart now, and it's, like, it's kind of awkward. Alright, we win the game. GG. GG. GG Tay Bay Bay. I mean, okay, we're getting things done with the Umbreon deck. Kind of had some bad luck there, I'm not gonna lie, but, uh, that was fine. Ten coins, not bad. Um, maybe we can get a Garden's Rising pack. Let's check out his deck. Did he have that promo carving? Or not the promo. Um, yeah, he did. So, I'm glad he didn't get that carving down. That could have, you know, kind of turned the tables for us. So, that's fine. Going good, though. Going good. But yeah, guys, if you are watching this as either a VOD or you just tuned into the stream, again, I don't know how good the FPS will be. It's not going to be as good as my normal videos, because when I'm in my normal videos, I can just render in Sony Vegas in good quality and good frame rate, but... Streaming, not so much. But again, it's my first stream. I can always go in my settings and try and fix things. I'm probably definitely going to be doing that after the stream. I need to make sure my like stream like FPS and quality is like pitch perfect. All right, we have a really decent hand here. Um, like I can probably stall my opponent out if I really wanted to. We are playing against Grass deck, so we're going to have to go for my boy Flareon. Yeah, it is. I mean, Dawson, the thing is, like, I don't really want to pay, like, so much money for Shamans. Um, but TCG on is, TCG online, sorry, is just really nice because you don't have to pay that much money for cards and stuff, which is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to lie Sander here because yeah, I can't afford to. Uh, I'm gonna get knocked out probably. Look at how many items we have. Yeah, I just can't afford this game in real life anymore. Like until I get a job, maybe I'm definitely in the future. Will how long have you played PCGO? Twenty fourteen. I think I started playing just around when. Um, Furious Fist came out, I think. Like, I've been playing the card game for a really long time, but, like, I just played PC Joe in 2014. Like, I could have got those Vivid sets. Oh, and he ends me. Okay, that's fine. I could have gotten those, like, Vivid sets you could have got. Hopefully, I don't draw a lot of items here, because we'll actually get donked. Um, but yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, don't Trevin at me. He's probably gonna Trevin at me. I think I lose. Oh, no. But yeah, I used to play in 2014. I started playing 2014, sorry. But yeah, I, I used to watch a lot of Puka and Tyler plays, which is pretty cool. Um, Puka is probably my main inspiration for YouTube, to be honest with you. Okay, thank God I confused Ray. That's fine. We can we can go escape rope switch or float stone. That works too. Now we don't have to burn a uh, an escape rope, and we can knock out his phantom. Hopefully we can knock it out. But yeah, I used to watch like a lot of Puka and Tyler plays. They were really inspired me to start making videos. Puka definitely. Sad that Pook and Tyler both don't upload anymore. Like, they, they used to be, like, huge inspirations. I watch a lot of Yellow Swallow now, and um, some do a few other PCGO YouTubers, like Outcast, Orbomb, Token Minorities. They're pretty cool. Um, but yeah. And I, I think, I like Team Fish Knuckles, too. He's one of my favorite uh, PCGO YouTubers, too. I think we go Sycamore here. Let's see. Come on, DCE. Yes, thank God. Okay, we're going to put down both Eevees, because once we hit Flareon, we're good, in good shape. Um, yeah, Seeker, yeah, he, if he Vile Plumes me, I mean, he already has, I guess we'll go Lysander, maybe we can trap, like, something, bring, I don't know, um, and we'll go Shadow Bullet, we're gonna have to hit this thing so we can knock it out next turn with another 90 damage Shadow Bullet, um, so hopefully our prize is not an item, probably will be, because we do play a lot, <laughs> it is, of course, rip, but yeah, 
I mean, streaming is pretty fun. It's actually pretty fun to interact with you guys, because usually I upload my video, then I chill out, I reply to as many comments as I can, and then, of course, you know, the next next day or so, I upload another video. Live streaming, though, it's like, you can just keep talking to people. That end may have saved me, by the way. And it did. Holy cow. I felt put down Wobbuffet, too. Did he hit the Trev? I mean, he's only doing, like, 90, 60 damage. But yeah, stream, streaming seems fun, because, again, interacting with people, like, seems to be a really good... Really good time. But yeah, late night streams will probably be the when I usually stream. Like, I don't have a set schedule or date. Like, usually I'll just stream whenever I want to. Like, if I'm playing PZGO and just grinding and testing out new ideas for decks, I'll probably just live stream it. But yeah, I, I probably will have to try and fix the frame rate. I don't know how good the frame rate is. Just from watching it here, it doesn't seem too terrible. Like, every now and then it might get, like, some weird drop, but then it goes back to normal. So, as long as, as long as it's not, like really really laggy that's fine but yeah the interaction is really fun guys it really is so seems good but yeah i think we're in a really good spot right now my opponent can't attack me we're kind of just gonna keep sweeping with number on wobbuffet you're definitely coming on the bench okay so it looks like he whiffed all right that's good um hmm okay so i might even just lysander out Nah, we should probably knock out Trev. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna go Sika and try and, you know, get as many items out of my hand as I can. Okay, thank god. We didn't... Ooh, look at that. We even got the Flareon. My opponent is in trouble. We can probably even do... No, we can't. I was like, maybe we can knock him out with Strafe. Uh, we'll go Crushing. Nice. Uh, we'll float the Wob, and... We kind of got... Well, actually, wait. What am I doing? I gotta play the Via Seeker. And I think we just get ourselves... I'm gonna get a Lysander, like... I feel comfortable that I'm going to draw into a draw sport. We're in a really good spot anyway, so it's not like I really need it. So we'll hit him with a Shadow Bullet. It doesn't really matter what I hit, I guess. I could hit that Oddish, too. Okay, dumb play. Dumb play. Dumb play on my end. But it's fine. We knock out his trap. I mean, we're probably going to win this, to be honest. Wob's in play. we got to float on it. If he plays Field Blower, I mean, he probably doesn't. But if he plays Field Blower, that could hurt us. We drew into an Enhanced Hammer off the prizes. That's not too nice, though. Sycamore, okay. I mean, no, hand hammer's fine. I just don't want to get a bunch of items. Uh, we're probably going to get attacked this turn, but thankfully we don't have that many items within our hand. So it's not like he's going to do like an insane amount of damage. But I think I'm just going to Lysander. I might even just try and knock out Gloom. Like, I'm not worried about Vileplume's Wild in play, but still wouldn't, wouldn't be too terrible, you know? So we'll go that route. Alright, there's a float on Celebi. Celebi, um, the only thing is, well, Celebi is, we don't, we don't knock it out. We're not, we're not gonna be able to get that prize because that ability. And there's Vile Plumes. Now we're item locked, so our enhanced hammer is unusable until we go into Wob. He isn't even too shiny, though, which is good. Crushing. I think we're just gonna have to try to play as many items as we can. Yeah, that's fine. As long as I'm just getting items out of my hand, I'm fine. I'm gonna hold on to that Lysander. I think we just Shadow Bullet him, hit that Oddish then, and, uh, he might even just bring out the Oddish, but we have Lysander, so we can just take the Vile Plume and the Oddish out next turn, and then I think at that point we're going to win. What other decks are you think of playing? Um, a lot. I mean, I'll show you guys a lot of my main decks. I'm, I'm trying out, like, a weird Tapu Koko Pidgeot Alolan Muck deck that I was, like, randomly thinking of when I was, like, on my phone. I was, like, chilling in my bed, and then I was like, you know what? I want to try out Pidgeot Jolteon Tapu Koko. It's just, it's a weird deck, but I don't know, like... I just, ideas just keep going through my head, especially when I'm at school, like, when I'm at school, I literally am always thinking of, like, different card deck ideas, it's insane, especially when Poke Beach like, puts up new scans, and when I'm on my spare, sparkle motion, alright, rip, looks like we're gonna lose now, Kappa, um, yeah, I think we, well, actually, we can keep the Vile Plume play, can't we, yeah, it's fine, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Yeah, it's just Shadow Bullet. I'm keeping the plume in play. Keep might item locked. You know, it's not a big deal. He might not be able to get any more items down, so that's fine. And he gets heads. Alright, rip the prize card, but we still knock out that Oddish. But, yeah, we just cleared his entire board now, so, I mean, if he doesn't get a Pokemon down. And he's item locked, so he can't really search for anything, so I think we have an easy win here, guys. There's a Sycamore. Ooh, he's getting things going. I mean, he's only got one Phantom left. He can't play Revitalizer. Oh, a Tauros. Oh, that's actually kind of scary. We can't win the game either with Lysander. Yeesh. 
I mean, we could just build up a Tapu Lele if we really wanted to. I think we just hit him and then just knock him out down the road or do that. That works too. That works too. Okay. Um, just gonna put a bunch of energy on my uh, Tapu Lele. Doesn't really matter, I guess, but we'll we can knock him out anyways. Another Umbreon, just playing it safe. You know, you never know. My opponent might play Center Lady or something crazy like that. Who knows? But uh, yeah. But I do want to take a mini um, do as much damage as I can with my Umbreons. Cause I'm doing my daily dark challenge. Try and get as much coins as I can. Might as well just do my challenges. I don't really do my challenges, cause you know I, I forget about them. But you know, it's a good excuse to do something on stream. Parallel City's pretty good, but again, I think yeah, you just concede. So <laughs> rip, rip, getting the uh, damage. Um, two tickets, sure. I might do tournaments too. Um, maybe not this stream. Uh, okay. What do we? Uh, we'll take this, cause then we can just we have a daily uh, grass uh, damage thing. So that actually works out perfectly. 25 coins, okay, cool. Alright, now we go to a grass deck. Yeah, I'm really liking the Umbreon Hammers deck. Decidueye Plume, nah, I ain't gonna play that. That, That's just not cool. That's not a cool deck. I could play Decidueye Rainbow. Um, nah, I'll play, uh, let's just do Tapu Bulu Lurantis. It's the easiest way to get this grass, uh, both my grass challenges done, I guess. Sure. Do you have Focus Lens in this? No, I was thinking of putting that in. Um, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. Let me actually I might have it in. I can't remember. This might even be an outdated Umbreon Hammers list. So I, I know we have two choice bands in here. Oh no, three. I think we can go two choice bands, one wide lens. Wide lens is good in like Volcanian and like matchups like that where you can, you know, Flareon and then one shot an Oddish on the bench. I guess we can try that out. We'll we'll try this deck again later. I am trying out an Umbreon Hammers deck. Might make a video on it, who knows? I mean, I want to cover as many uh, Guardians Rising decks as I can. My next Guardians Rising deck that I'm probably going to be making a video on is this deck right here, Absol Serena. This deck is actually really interesting. I haven't playtested yet because I literally need only one more Absol, and I'm too lazy to put up a public trade. But I really do want to try this deck out. It it seems like a really good deck. Like, it's a good control deck. It's an auto loss to Sylveon, though. So, that's that. But yeah, I'm basically a good friend of mine on here. Shout out to you, O-Dog. He gave me two promo Lorantises, so we're gonna we're gonna use these things now. And yeah, is there anything else we could add? Oh, got to take another card. Uh, guess we take out Max Potion. Sure. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I think Max we can do without a Max Potion. Um, but yeah, Focus Lens is a good card to put in that deck. So thank you, Jack. I forgot about that. Like I, I had the idea. I was like, maybe Focus Lens could be good, but I was just like. Boy, I can't remember, but there you go. All right, so we are going to play our Tapu Bulu Lurantis deck, and we are going to try. I have so many decks, so I literally have to do this to just find my deck. But we'll play out. I'll play that deck, and I will be trying out different decks. If I can get one more Absol, I'll probably just go to Puffs after this, after I get this daily challenge done. Well, I mean, I could do the daily Grass Evo too, the Serena Absol deck, but I want to get the challenge out of the way. Where is it? I can't even remember. I have so many decks. Oh my god, alright, there it is, Tapu Bulu. There it is. I forgot, I put a Gengar deck box on it so I can find it. Because I have so many Lorantis decks, I forget it. Um, oh dog, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you so much for the uh, promo Lorantises, man. Shout out to you. So, yeah, thanks, oh dog. means a lot. Because now I can actually, you know, make stronger grass decks and be like, okay, yeah, guys, you know, I would take out these two cards, throw in those promo Lorantises, but, like, now it's, like, fine. But yeah, and that Sceptile deck, I might even just update it after this game. I can't play it because it's not a it's not a Grass Evo deck. No, oh, Mac Decidueye Mirror Match. Decidueye Lorantis Mirror Match? Or Decidueye Plume with the Shinotic? I guess we will find out. Okay, this hand's actually really good. This is a good hand. Uh, I can't remember if my opponent's going first or not. I actually didn't even check. Um, I think Bill's spot is better with Lorantis. I think it is too. It is. Um, it definitely is because Glowspod can do a lot of damage, but it can't actually one-shot that many EXs and GXs, mainly GXs, like, it can't one-shot Lorantis as well, it can't one-shot, um, the Espeon and Umbreons, and stuff like that, so I do think that, uh, Glowspod is good. I like my Hammers deck, but I'll probably just run a Lorantis Glowspod list with, like, a GX in it too, so you can power it up that way. I still like the Max Luxury, though, because, again, Glowspod has one big weakness in the fact that it takes two energy to build itself up, so that's, like, one of the reasons why I'm kind of, like, hesitant on using it or not. Enforce me. All right, you know what? Thank you. Now I don't need to play my Aether Paradise. 
Um, I'm probably still going to play it. If he uses evolution grass types, and obviously I'm going to use my Aether Paradise against him. We'll see what he can do this turn. Shinotic could make things interesting. I actually couldn't tell. I couldn't really see if he played a Psychic or not, or like Colas to see if he's playing Bulu or Shea. I guess we'll see. It might just be like a Decidueye deck. You never know. But we'll, we'll try and win. Especially with the Promo Lantis one and Tabulu. I know. It's... Promo Lorantis, I think, changes Lorantis on a huge scale. Like, Lorantis is already a great deck to use because it's a stage one meaning you use it with, S, with um, e Evolution, but also because it hits for good weaknesses on a lot of Pokemon. Like, Grass type hitting Lapras weakens pretty good. So a lot of people are going to probably play Lapras because of the fact of Aqua Patch. Um, I don't know when the next tournament is. I think there's like a one in Wisconsin or something like that very soon. I don't know how popular Lapras decks are going to be. Quad Lapras, I think, is going to be not played because people are going to be scared of Garb. No, the end. Actually, I didn't really want to lose two Guest Seekers. It came with Promo Lorantis. Yeah, I know. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, like, oh wow. <laughs> the game's almost as good, if not better. He's going to get a Decidueye. I mean, he could quad Decidueye me and then it's rip. Okay, good. No. Uh, Max Potion. All right, you know what? Better, better late than never. Sure. Um, okay, so I think we just Nest Ball for a Bulu? Or Lele. Yeah, I meant to say Lele. I accidentally said Shea. Okay, we're not going to play the Aether Paradise down because I need to take advantage of this Forest of Giant Plants. I can probably get a few Lorantuses down. And then I can maybe Flower Supply him. How does that miss? Yo, we got 10 energies in the deck. Boy. All right, here we go, Sycamore. Give me everything I ever needed. Wow. That... Are you kidding me? All right, here we go. Trainer's Mill again. There we go. We got an Ultra Ball. I think I'm just going to grab a Lorantis. Yeah, we'll grab a Lorantis. Unfortunately, I couldn't get much else going, but I think we'll just grab Lorantis GX here. We'll go Flower Supply. I'm not going to hold I'm gonna hold on that Choice Band until he brings out the Decidueye GX, and then we'll start smacking it. Would have been nice, though, to build up my Lorantis this turn. It's kind of unfortunate. Lorantis and Expand is also really good. I kind of want to toy around with that, but... I don't really play much expanded. Um, hey, Todd Feldman, shout out to you, and uh, I'm doing good. My first live stream here on YouTube, so hopefully things go well. Um, hopefully things go well. I'm probably going to be live streaming a lot more frequently now, but yeah. Shout out to you, Todd, and uh, Jack. Gilsapod is better. It's faster than Bulu because you only need grass and PC. That's true, but the thing with Bulu, though, Bulu doesn't have a weakness, and it also can be part of Max Elixir, but I think, I think Gilsapod is going to be a cool rogue deck. I think... Maybe, like, a rogue idea that you can take would be Gosapod. I think Bulu is going to be a lot more meta, like, mainstream, tier 1, tier 1.5, tier 2, maybe. But then I think Gosapod could be, like, a good, like, rogue, budgety kind of a deck kind of thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think Gosapod definitely has a lot of potential. That ability is just way too good with Gosapod. It give, basically gives it 160 HP. Grass is also good against fighting normal pokes. Yeah. It's great against fighting... I think Zygarde and Lion Karak are going to be two decks that people are going to use because Lion Karak, the thing with Lion Karak, right, you can control stuff, but it hits for good weakness on Tapu Koko and Jolteon and Drampa and I think Darkrai. I don't know how popular Darkrai will be. I have not played against Darkrai in forever. Zygarde, I think, is going to be another good deck, especially with the Fuller. People are going to want to toy around with that. Now, unfortunately, this turn, I don't think we can actually hit him with the Lorantis hard enough. He's sniping my Bulu. At least he doesn't play Plume, though. That's good. He really doesn't like my Tapu Bulu. Wow. But yeah, um, I think Fighting is going to be a really like popular archetype going into next tournament. Grass Energy. We're going to get knocked out, right? Yeah, we're getting knocked out next turn regardless. So it doesn't matter. Um, Sure. I want to... He actually didn't play any items last turn, did he? Not yet, I think. Alright, we'll end him then. That's fine. Doesn't matter. There's Aether. Okay, I'll hold on to that, though. We didn't... Still no Lorantis? What? Bro. No Ultras, no Lorantis. That... And no Max Elixir. Okay, I am whiffing really hard here. I mean, yeah, we just Flower Supply. Sure. Man, if we had a Grass in the discard, it'd be much nicer. Because we can then just tap a Wilderness him next turn. Kind of sucks. I mean, we yeah, we're getting pretty unlucky here with our draws. My opponent's probably going to build up a ton of Decidueye this turn, too, which is kind of scary. I mean, this win is going to be a little hard to achieve. Yeah, this win might be a little difficult to get, but I think we can we can try our best. As long as we can at least do the daily challenges, then it's fine. Because we're going to get more coins than him in theory, right? 
Yeah, we're getting knocked out, and then he's gonna keep. I mean, we're gonna lose our Bulu next turn too. Yikes! I might just bring up Fomantis. Uh, you're my favorite P TCGO YouTuber. What do you think about Darkrai? I mean, thank you so much, Todd. That means so much to me. It honestly does mean the world to me. Um, Darkrai. I think Darkrai is another good deck. Maybe Funny Fury Bell is better in Darkrai because of the fact that Garb is already resistant. Like, you're already resistant to Garb, right? So it's like, Garb's not doing as much damage to you. And with the belt, you have more HP. But that might be that might be stretching it a little bit. No, why didn't I bring up the Fomantis? Dang it, I wasn't paying attention. Um, but yeah, I do think Garb is definitely going to be a huge archetype. So I think Darkrai is still going to be as good as ever. Just because the fact that it can go straight through Garb is just really, really good. I guess we have to end him here and hope to hit a switching guard. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We'll play this. It doesn't matter at this point. He's already got three Decidueyes in play. It's fine, though. Uh, we could Sicka, too. Yeah, I guess we Sicka. Yeah, sure. But yeah, I think Darkrai is a great deck to use. Just joined high. Hey, Steven. Um, Linecroc is real good, my buddy, as a Linecroc decker. Yeah. Like, Linecroc, I think, is... Like, fighting is just a really good archetype in general. So I do think that, like... We're going to see a lot more Linecarok in the future, just because it's so... Like, the, the Dark type, um, hitting for weakness on Dark and Lightning is just way too good to pass up. It's way too good to pass up. I don't know where my Ultra Balls are, though, holy. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we put this, I guess. I guess we can put our active. But yeah, I do think that fighting is definitely going to be a big thing. Not Basimian. <laughs> Basimian can get out of here, because no, no one wants to play Basimian. But yeah, I definitely think that we are going to see a lot more... Um, thing. I'm using your Gyarados deck. Hey, shout out to you. Meg Gyarados. I think, okay, Meg Gyarados, the cool thing about it is, it's lightning type, so it's not going to be weak to grass, so you don't have to worry about it, right? You can use both Glow Spot and one Bulu. And you don't, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we can try and build that after this, if we don't get this daily challenge done. But in Darkrai, you were super item. Yeah, that's also true, Todd. Um, That is also true. Because you, you use max elixirs and all stuff like that, but again, like, as long as Arb's not doing as much damage, but yeah. I mean, maybe Darkrai isn't as good anymore, then. Hmm, that's interesting. I think Eveltal is still good. I think Umbreon is probably the best Dark type right now, because you can use a Flareon and stuff, and you can combo with Espeon. Oh, he's going to take out my Bulu. No. I hate We can Chlor... Actually, no, we can Flower Solar Blade him. All right. Hmm, if we can get a Grass, I'll Hex him, and then... That sucks. Rip my Poi Tapu Bulu. At least he has to devote a few Feather Ears to it. Um, yeah, that's why my Plume Trev could be a possibly good deck. Yeah, um, Trev Plume definitely is a really good deck. Um, the only problem I can see with it is, honestly, just late game where your opponent wrecks you, and then, like, in the late game, you can't get anything going because you plumed yourself. But yeah, I do think that, that Trev Plume definitely going to be one of those decks that makes an impact. Okay, we got a Bulu. I think we have to take him out, though, with the uh, Lorantis. Alright, we can end him to two, which isn't too bad. I really would have wanted to hex him, though. Okay, there we go, Grass Energy. But yeah, I do think that, uh... Definitely. Because... What was I saying again? <laughs> yeah, Trap Plume's good. Uh, but you need Promo Lorantis as well. Yeah. Um, Promo Lorantis, I don't know if we can Trev... Like, tech cards you can add to Trev are probably just, um... Alright, we got the Hex in our hand. I think the best, like, tech cards you can add into Trev is, um... Probably Tauros, to be honest with you. I, oh, dang it, I was hoping to grab another Promo Lorantis. Um, but yeah, I think you could definitely add in a, I'm not gonna play Shaman Down quite yet, by the way. But yeah, I guess Tauros won't be too bad in, uh, thing. What's him call it? Uh, keep forgetting. Um, into Trev Plume. Might as well add Tauros. I mean, you're not even using any GX attacks other than Tapu Lele, but you're never gonna use it. Uh, do you have any Nopa that could be useful? I mean, yeah. I, I think definitely Promo Lorantis is going to make... I, like, Promo Lorantis is broken. You got to remember, too, it works for fire types. So, like... No, we had a Sigmore dang it in before he whisked Grass Energy. Um, but, yeah. Promo Lorantis is a huge game changer for Grass decks. Like, Grass... Is this guy about to get so many situations in play? I think he is. Rip. I'm probably going to get smoked here. But, yeah. We can knock him out with... Actually, no, we can't. Oh, no, yeah, we have the Promo Lorantis play. Yeah, Promo Lorantis worked with Fire Types good. I doubt you'll see it in Volcanion, but you probably might see it in like a Quad Turnator deck. Um, do you have a good Volk list? Uh, yeah, I do. I took out Sally. I don't know if Salamence is any good anymore, but yeah, I can definitely show you guys a Volk list after. Trevenant Plume is a trap. I don't know. Um, Trevenant Break definitely makes that deck really good too, because when you play against Garb and Espeon, 
it kind of just smokes it. There's another weird deck I'm using. I might show it off. Okay. He's hitting the Lorantis from region. Because why would I hit that blue? It's got he's got less HP. If he doesn't get a grass here, then this is perfect. The only problem is, is uh, we can't take him out Chlorocyte because it's situated so much health. I think we just take out the uh, the Bulu. I don't know. I wanted to take out some this turn. I could even trap this thing, which actually isn't. Hold on, let's Shaman try and get Via Seeker for Hex, but yeah. Craft Plume definitely with Tauros is good. Ah, uh, rip the Via Seeker. Alright, I guess we gotta just Lysand or something. We'll trap this, I guess, sure. This thing, I mean, the fact I put Shaman down is really risky. The fact I need to get a Via Seeker is also really bad, too. I might I might just lose next turn. He just needs a switching card, Grass Energy, and Lysander. Or two turns, and he knocks me out. <laughs> kind of regret that now. But if we take this out, we win the game by Lysandering Lele with Chlorocyte, or Chlorocyte that Decidueye. He's still in in Lorantis, what the heck? It's a trap, it is. I do think Trap of Alpine is a good archetype, though, to try out. Definitely with, like, Tauros as a tech card wouldn't be too bad. Maybe a few Tauros. Maybe you can, like, not run Psychic Energy and then throw in, um, maybe, like, a different tech, like, I don't know, Jolteon, if you're really worried about Volcanion. Okay. I don't know why he's not hitting Shaman, though. It's still kind of weird. We can't do Sycamore. Yikes. Three. We got one. I don't know. That could be prized. Who knows? Uh, let's just, let's just see. Alright, our VS Seeker is in the deck. That's all I needed to know. Can we lose next turn? Probably, but we kind of just gotta risk it. I mean, I could have maybe set this thing up for a heal too, but it doesn't matter. Alright, two prizes. What are they gonna be? Rope isn't bad. He might Lysander us out. If he has, I, he probably has Lysander. Let's be real here. Yeah, he's, he's literally needs one VS Seeker. We lose. Um, Admiral Ekbar. It's true. But yeah, I think Trap Vileplume is a great deck. Uh, Vileplume is annoying in general, but you know, there's a reason why it's so popular. Hmm. Yeah, he's 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 got the Lysander. I think he's just toying with me at this point. I think he's slow rolling me. Rip. I would concede, but if he doesn't have the Lysander, we basically win the game. Actually, no. If we don't get the Via Seeker top deck. Then we lose. If he doesn't win the game this turn. Which he, he needs a grass energy and the thing. We can rope him, but it'll just bring out the other Shinotic. That's not what we can take out. Tauros might be good. Yeah, Tauros Giratina Hammers is a really fun deck. I hate those kind of decks. Like, stall decks are really annoying. But, Tauros Giratina Hammers. It's a fun deck to play. Well, I don't know how popular that'll be. I think Giratina is still a pretty decent card. I saw that new Noivern, by the way. People are really overhyping that. I know it works with evolutions, double dragon energy, plus it has like two really powerful attacks, even like a really OP GX attack, but I don't know how I feel about it. Like, Fairy is just way too good right now, and in my opinion, for it to even see any play at all. Depends on how Metal performs in the future. Make Mega, Mega Scizor, Metagross, and Sogaleo are probably the only Metal decks. Right. If you're slow rolling me, but I swear, I swear, my boy. Maybe he doesn't play many grass energy though, maybe we're lucky. I don't know. Hopefully we're lucky here. But yeah, Tauros is still good. Tauros with Belt might still be the best way to play it though, because it just makes it harder for your opponent to one shot it and they have to dig for field blower. Nope, he had the buy. Ooh, he's bringing up Bulu. He doesn't have the win then. Alright, but if we don't top deck via seeker, I think we lose, unless my opponent switches into Tap into Decidueye for some reason. It's probably not, though. We just gotta hope we top deck our last Via Seeker to win the game. If not, it is a rip, folks. Alright, Via Seeker, you coming? Uh, I didn't come. Alright, well, there's, yeah, there's no way we can, we can do anything. I guess we could just escape rope and hope my opponent doesn't bring out Shinotic. Uh, maybe misclick. But, yeah, okay, rip. Alright, that's fine. I think I'll just take him out Chlorocyte, and that might, that'll show that, bleh, that should finish my daily challenge. So, boom, Chlorocyte, 320 damage. A little overkill, but it is what it is. Um, a good deck that works like a auto fail is Metagross Togaleo. Works a lot better than it looks. Yeah, I mean, the pro I've always thought that deck was, like, a little weird, because that's so many stage twos. It reminds me a lot of Empoleon Dustinor. But, again, I think that is also a decent deck. I think any metal deck that can get energy back is probably going to be good. 
against Sylveon. Because I think Sylveon is probably the most overhyped deck right now. And I do think it deserves to be overhyped, because it is literally the most annoying deck ever made. But, uh, and rip. But yeah, we got that thing done. We got a Daily Grass Evo. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find an Absol on Pub, and then we can show off that Serena Absol deck and see how that works. But yeah, um, I do think that, uh, and I'll show you guys a little trick here. If you guys want to snipe on Pub really easily, you go to Gameplay, and you go to, uh, okay, you, you click that. You go, you type in Vivid, and then you wait. Because there's not many trades up for, like, Vivid stuff, and it'll load really quick. And then, like, literally in, like, not even 30 seconds, you should be able to go to the thing. To me, Evolutions. Yeah, see? But I do think it's still a really good deck, regardless of the Evolution evolution amount. I don't know. Looks clunky. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it depends on how your list would work. I think Skyla Lele is the best way to play it. Because once you, like, if you turn to Sogaleo, your opponent, I think you're going to be in a really dominant position. Like, against Sylveon, you Soul Burst, you put all the energy on your Sogaleo so that Sylveon can't, like, get rid of your energy and you don't spread it out. You put on your Sogaleo and then hope they don't get lucky with Hammerheads and stuff like that and Flare Grunt. But yeah, this trick I always do when I'm sniping on, or when I go to public trades. See, because not many people put trades up for these Vivid stuff if it wants to load. There we go. Not many people put up trades for these Vivid stuff, so it's, like, really easy to snipe these. And, like, really easy to just do this. I don't know how many Vivid stuff is up right now, so I don't know if, like, it's going to go to, the, like, the 7 minute mark or still going to be around the 2 minute. Yep, see, 6 minute. Look at that. That's how That's how you snipe on pubs. Uh, Noivern is not as good as people are making it. Comes during a rotation. Yeah, exactly. Unless Double Dragon could get a uh, Rainbow Rare, like uh, what CC did. I think it will. Yeah, I mean, Double Dragon, it'll, it's the only way Dragons can be playable, in my opinion. And with Reshiram rotating out now, too? Can Dragons see play anymore? I doubt it. Um, Salamence still might see play because you can still use it with DC and stuff like that. Alright, what trades can we snipe? <laughs> yeah, not many good ones. Mostly just scams. Wait, hold on. Five for four? Oh my god, I was like, five Sun Moon for four runs, guys? Yes, please. But yeah. I mean... It's it's really down to that. Noivern really... The, the weakness to fairy is what kills it. There's so many good fairy decks right now. There's no way Noivern is even going to survive. I think, like, Giratina is still a great choice for a dragon deck. And, I guess, like, Salamence and Volcanion. And whatever else you want to put Sally in. Five for full art. Dang it. I pull, oh, yeah, by the way, um, you should have gotten an email today giving you guys a free Guardians Rising pack code from Pokemon. And I got a Tapu Koko to my pack, which is pretty sweet. Greninja for two will. Nah, no thanks. Um, okay, what other? Full art? Dang it. Age of Slash for Revert. Ooh, that's tempting to actually accept. But yeah, Metagross, I definitely think, is a great way to counter Sylveon. I think Metagross is great. But the problem is, again, Sylveon just texts in Flareon, and uh, yeah, your your day gets your day gets ruined pretty quickly. Yeah, I think I'm just going to type in Absol. I wonder, I actually want to test that deck out. But I'm not going to overpay for an Absol. So if I can find one for, like really cheap, I might just put up a public trade. The problem is the mix of pokies, but Team Fish Temples came up with a good list for it. Hmm, for uh, Metagross Sogaleo. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to check that out. I didn't get a chance to watch his video on it. I'll check it out after. Maybe maybe it'll be uh, interesting. Because I know Team Fish Temples is a really good player. Like, he's a monster at this game. <sighs> None of these trades are good. Like, who wants to trade... Actually, no, it's not a bad trade. Like, seriously, who want, Who would accept that? Like, dude, really? Like, one pack for not, like, dude, come on. There's a reason why I make roasting bad trades, which, the only thing I haven't done one in a while, because, one, I'm too lazy, and two, I don't know how the, the reception will come. Like, I don't want to, like, get bad backlash. What else is there? Uh, nah, not much. Okay, uh, we'll put up a pub trade for Absol and hope it goes through really quickly. I'll show you guys this weird deck I made. And then we'll, like, look at other decks while we wait for this Absol trade to go through, I guess. Alright, um, what can I put up? I think I'll just put up a, uh, here, I'll do this. Because I got this trade accepted on public, or I found this on pubs. He just literally wanted this nuke with that, that carving. We'll give him one of these two. I don't care if that's a scam. I just want this trade to go through. We'll give him two carvings for a Absol. Hopefully that goes through. We'll show off an Absol Serena deck, which is looking like a pretty cool deck idea. Who knows? But yeah, I'll show you this weird deck I made, and I don't know how which is the best version of it yet. So, 
it's literally Espeon Drampa beware. Like, I know, it's the it's the stupidest deck you've ever seen. But who knows? Is it good? You probably not. So basically, you use three different attackers that all have their own abilities. You got Drampa with Righteous Edge, which can be great against special energy, and you have Berserk, which is a great way to take easy one shots. Mm. And then you got Espeon, which Psybeam and Psychic and Divide are just really good. And you have my boy Beware, which I don't really know why I have this in the deck. Obviously, Garb is probably the best option in this deck, but I don't even know. Uh, I feel like, are you doing viewer matches? Um, yeah, I might. After, probably. I, w I put up a trade for Absol. If that goes through, I'll probably do, I'll test that deck out, and then we'll do a few viewer matches. Put in the stream off there. I feel like Noivern DX mixed with Garb and Sableye could be interesting. Yeah. I think Noivern will be good. I mean, it's only two energies. It's not terrible. You can probably use Max Elixir. He is one of the better ones to watch. Oh, yeah, Team Fish Knuckles is. He makes really good content. I've been watching Team Fish Knuckles for a while now. Um, but yeah, Beware. I put this in the deck mainly for a rake in. Like, if you haven't played a Beware, you can draw three cards. Like, those three cards can be really good. We do play a few switching cards in here, mainly for Drampa. So if you think about it, your Espeon takes a hit. You switch it or retreat it into Drampa, and then you Berserk him. I don't know. It's the weirdest deck I've ever made, but it's fun. I don't know if I like the Espeon having Espeon in the deck, or Umbreon. Like, Espeon can be good with Divide and Psychic and Psybeam against Garb and stuff like that. But then you have the Umbreon route, which could be good too for the Disruption, because you can use Dark Hall. I mean, you already have Derail, or Righteous Edge. I keep calling that Derail. You have Righteous Edge, so I don't even know. Uh, do you want my, my ninth place? Uda, Uda. Yeah, sure. Um, Obviously, don't link the full decklist in chat. I mean, just uh, screenshot it and then just post it to Imager and then just put it in the chat. It should appear in my comments after, I think. I don't, I don't know how these YouTube live streams work afterwards. Um, but some interesting stuff you can look in this deck. You just have a bunch of variety of different attackers. You got Espeon, which can do a lot of things. You got Beware, which, I mean, you might as well. It's a non-EX attacker, which, you know, can kind of just smoke your opponent with dangerous blow. Especially since stage one, you use Vaporeon. It's a great way to deal with Volcanion. I mean, they take you on one hit, but it's a good one prize attacker, right? Um, plus, drawing three cards, you never can underestimate that. Drampa's just a great attacker. It's our big damage. So of what I was great against Skyfield, and then you got Lele. I, th I put this in the deck. This is my max elixir of the deck. Uh, Seniors deficient. Yeah, sure. I caught you at a weird time. Just got done with my daily training workout and was going to watch John Wick 2. And your feet pops up. <laughs> I heard good things about that movie, by the way. I never saw it, but I heard good things about John Wick 2. Uh, your feed pops up, rip. Yeah. It's my first live stream, man. It's my first live stream. But yeah, this multi-switch card, it's like, it's literally like, um, Max Elixir, because if you think about it, right, you have your Espeon on the active, you got a Psychic Energy and a DC on it, then you play Switch or Rope into, like, say, Beware or Drampa, you attach to that Pokemon, like, a basic energy or DC, and then you use multi-switch, move either DC or basic energy from your Espeon to your Drampa. That's how this deck kind of chains its stuff together, if you're wondering. I'm, I'm probably going to make a video on this. I, I, I need to make a video on this Beware, so I'll use our Drampa. I haven't made a Drampa video yet. There's no thumbnails with Drampa. But yeah, I do think this is a pretty funny deck. Um, I put Super Rod over uh, Rescue Stretcher. Just when you're playing at Sylveon, you can get your energy back. Because if you Psybeam spam Sylveon, you might be okay to beat that deck. Um, K1, okay, all right. All right, Todd. I'll, I'll give you a few seconds. Um, I mean, I'll show you the Vault list. I, when I uh, went to get a bunch of Guardians Rising packs from the 24 Ticket Attorney, I used this Volcanian list right here. Because you actually can't use Guardians Rising. You couldn't use Guardians Rising cards when that tournament was active. So this was just literally outdated without Guardians Rising. Originally, I did have two Rangers in here in case of the uh, Decidueye Jolteon matchups. But I was like, who cares, whatever. If you run into that, you just cry. I only have one Lysander because I actually use Catcher in the deck in case you play against Garbodor. And this Catcher actually made a huge difference in the deck. You'd be surprised how good Catcher and Volcanian is. But yeah, that's my ma that's my main Volcanian list. I don't use Terminator because I think Salamence is still a really good attacker, regardless. No Rainbow for Drampa. Man, I'll show oh I'll show you this one deck. I was I, I might even still make a video on this. This is the weirdest deck I've ever made compared to okay what was it called again? I can't remember. But, yeah, I do have a deck where I use Rainbow, and I also use Drampa. I can't find it. I 
Oh, yeah, right, it was called... I think it was called the Potion. Yeah, this deck. This deck, I really want to make a video on. It's such a weird idea. Like, the, the Potion. Don't ask what... Don't even, don't even ask what this deck is. But it's an anti-meta deck. And I don't know if we'll still make a video on this. But basically how this deck works, you use Drampa with, as a big attacker with Berserk and Righteous Edge. Um, but Berserk is your main way to just do huge damage. We do play two Rainbows in the deck with Drampa. And we have... Um, you know, Olympia to heal and switch. I do play Rayquaza. This is in case you play against Sylveon. You can also build up your Ninetales that way after you use Ninetales. Ninetales is a great way to deal with Volcanion. Linecarok is great against Tapu Koko and anything else weak to fighting like Drampa. And also, I think Dangerous Rogue is the best GX attack in this, in this deck. But yeah, this is... I call it the Potion. And the reason why I was originally like, this is straight up an anti-meta deck, which I still think it is. I had to make Garen in the list originally, but I took that out. Um, it won't work. I don't play Fury Belts. Oh, rip. Do you play Choice Band? Do you play Choice Band in the deck? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this, this, you know, Line Croc's pretty good. By the way, I just thought of an idea. I'm actually having so much fun right now chilling and talking about the potion, huh? Yeah, um, I wanted to make a an anti-garb list called the potion, and then while I was making this, I was like, let's just make an anti meta deck. I don't know how good this deck is. It does have Max Elixir for a reason. But yeah, it's just, it's a weird deck. And I'll maybe play test it on stream. But I need that Absol trade to go through. Um, but yeah, most of my other decks are just chill. I have over 566 decks. Take that in. I don't know why. I am too lazy to do I Dude, if I had to delete most of these decks, it would take forever. You know how long it would take to delete these decks? Jeez. We'll, we'll play the potion and wait for that absolute tree to go through. I love that Rayquaza, yeah. No gust float. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, hmm. I'm trying to think of other ways you can link it. I don't know. Maybe if, if I do your battles, maybe I can play against that deck. Um, I love that Rayquaza, yeah. Dude, the new Rayquaza is so underrated, dude. No one... I think a lot of people are just like, eh, it's not that good. Use DCE, sweep to lightning, which is a pretty bad weakness, but... I, like, that Rayquaza is a huge game-changer, in my opinion, especially in Sogaleo. Alright, where is it? The Potion? Okay, I can't find the deck now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there it is. The Potion. Let's play the Potion, see how bad this deck is. And then hopefully that Absol trade goes through when I'm done this game. Uh, we're playing in Sylveon. I wasn't prepared for this. I beat three... Mewtwo, why? Wow. Interesting. I beat three Mewtwo at Yuta. Nice. Yeah, Mewtwo Y is also a pretty big threat. Even though Tapu Lele is in the format, Tapu Lele does not hit for weakness. But again, Garb's in the format, so I don't know how Mewtwo's going to cope with that. Jeez, our hand sucks. So this is Sylveon. I might even just concede. I don't know how to beat the Sylveon matchup. I guess Drampa is just the only way we can really deal with the tech. Yeah, it's Sylveon. Magical Ribbon. Who who made that idea up? Um... But yeah, we'll see how Sylveon performs. Uh, you you would need two Team Flare Grunt in there too. Yeah. In the potion? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I guess. What other anti-meta cards do you think I could add in this deck? Cause I I want to base this deck around just using cards that like hit for good weakness and have different abilities to kind of manipulate stuff. And before delinquent, but we'll go Brooklyn. I might even. Ooh, we can hex them. I don't know if we can win the game, though. Hmm. I could win the game next turn. If it's possible. I think we go Rainbow to Vulpix, because it'll probably survive. And I'll play Hex, and then when he Magical Ribbons, I'll use those ends, sure. But yeah, um, hi, I'm back. Hey. And yeah, I do got this. Don't worry, Jack. I, I don't think this deck was prepared to play against Sylveon. I wanted to play against something else, but you know, it, it is what it is. And uh, welcome back, Steven. Welcome back, Steven. Yeah, Sylveon Rip. Uh, I hate Sylveon Rip. But yeah, okay, what other anti meta card? I, I knew he was going to hammer me. Alright, rip that. We can still take him out, I guess, with Ice Blade. I don't know. And that's fine. Give me a new hand. I didn't want to use Line Croc anyways. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, ah. This might be the hand we need to win the game. If we can knock him out next turn. Oh. We're gonna. I might just play. I might just risk and go for the wild kick knockout. In the potion, yeah, I do. The potion. It's a weird deck, man. It's the silliest deck I've ever made, but we'll see. 
Water. Mm, I didn't want to have to get basic energy. Okay, thank God. We're going to take a knockout here, hopefully. Oh, no, we got Max Elixir. I should have waited to play that. Oh, that is so annoying. All right, we'll go in. Actually, we'll go Lele here first. Yeah, sure. We'll grab Shaman too, I guess. I'll go Lele for Sika. If it's in the deck. Alright, it is. We'll see if we can take him out with a Rock or Rough. Um, okay, we still got a good amount of energy. Ooh, yeah, we won't be able to win this turn. That's a rip. I'm actually. Should I end him? He might not have Sylveon in his hand. Any delinquents? Uh, I think I played delinquent in here. I can't remember. I know I just checked, but whatever. I think I'm just gonna go. Beacon. We'll, we'll drop the Lele down, see if we can play any tech supporters. We play Fairy Garden, interesting. Uh, now we can grab Olympia. I don't want to heal it, because I want to save that for Drampa, but I think we gotta go for it. Um, sure. Alright, it's it's up to you, Rock or Rough. I mean, we could have maybe done it to Lele, too, I guess, with Max Lux or whatever. Alright, don't get Tails. No, you... Dang it! <laughs> Rip the wind! Get that money, baby. Oh, I will. I will get that money. I might have to meet my mic. My mom comes in my room. Ah, oh, rip. You just put another... Oh, my gosh. I don't know if Dangerous Rogue is useful here. We almost had the win. Maybe I should have just waited to put on Lele. Ah, the dumb plays are real. The misplays. In before we actually just smoke him. We're not going to... We can two-shot him, I guess. It's not too bad. Skull run, nah, that's fine. I didn't, I didn't need you anyways. He knows I have an end though, which not too good because we're gonna have to end him. But yeah, I don't know what other cards I could add to this deck. I was thinking Magirna at first because Magirna can be great against Espeon and I guess Lapras and maybe Salazzle, and it's also a great counter to Sylveon. Hey, look at that! All right, Shaman, the clutch top deck. We're still gonna end him because we can't let him grab those three cards. Um. I think we just go uh, Lankarok here. Manaphy, I don't think we're going to need. So grab our Lankarok. My opponent is well played. My opponent's like, dude, what is this deck? I'll tell you what this deck is. It is the weirdest deck. And I think we just hit the Sylveon and try and two-shot it. I guess, sure. You might want to bridge it in here. Yeah, I'm thinking. I mean, we have Brooklet Hill. That's kind of my, uh, my logic behind it. But I think Bridget isn't too bad. Do we choice ban? I mean, we're already two shot. I don't think he plays any healing cards. I could say that for Lele. Which I think I'll do. Dangerous Rogue doesn't knock him out. Nah, it doesn't. So we just Claw Slash for 110. Unless he plays a Center Lady or Fairy Drop, maybe I regret the no choice ban, but I don't know. I got my Talk Spec deck idea from you. Now I'm beating everyone. Thank you so much. Yo, shout out to you, RCM Blocks. Yo, that deck. I also like Talk Spec with uh, Max Potion, Evolutions, and Victini. That's a deck I want to try out. Oh, he does play Max Potion. Rip, and he hammered. If I go on round of my uh, fightings, I'm going to have to get Rayquaza. But yeah, Toxapex is a cool deck. Unfortunately, I think Toxapex might be a little little weaker because Garb, but I do think it's still a good deck with uh, Lunala. Delinquent. I knew he was going to do that. Alright. we got to get rid of N and Choice Band, sure. But yeah, shout out to you, RCM Blocks. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear the success with that Toxapex deck. Toxpex Lunal. I think Lunal is still a really underrated card. It's one of those cards that, like, I don't see that often or perform well, and I honestly think it's really good. Um, okay, we definitely gotta get for Rayquaza here because we're really low on energy. Can't afford. Hopefully, I don't get Skull Grunted too. Can't afford that. So we just gotta keep ending him. If he gets rid of that fighting, we're gonna have to go for the Ray. Hey, look at that, Drampa. How nice to see you. I'm going to use Drampa, because, actually, I don't maybe not, whatever, we'll put it down. Uh, special Charge, we could play that for Rainbow. Nah, DC, I think, is more important in this matchup. Alright, please don't Max Potion again, make me cry. Don't, don't do it, don't do it. But yeah, if you're just tuning into the stream now, I know this is the weirdest deck you've ever seen. Line Karak with Ninetales and Drampa? What, like, what? But I call it the Potion. It is the anti-meta deck to define all anti-meta decks. Alright, there's Sylve. Crushing. Oh, don't get heads. Oh, Alright, we are going to have to retreat into Rayquaza. Flare Grunt. Right, that's fine. As long as you're not using those on uh, my Dragonstorm. 
I'm good. Turbo Storm. <laughs> we're really low on energy. I don't know how much... You know, we're out of fighting. So we're going to have to use my Line Karak. Ninetales can't one-shot him with a choice ban, so yeah. Could go Drampa, too. I think we just build a Line Karak, because be like, alright, I'll punish you for putting a bunch of uh, bench Pokemon down. I'll need Skyla or for Brooklyn Hill to make that work. Yeah. Brooklyn Hill's great in this deck. Um, I use Slayeron to make Parallel City work and then deny damage to Toxpex. Well, that's actually clever, too. Toxpex Lunala, yeah. Toxpex is pretty fun. Um, we're gonna have to Olympia. Yeah, we, we can't end him. We gotta go Olympia. That's yes, rip. That's fine. We'll hold on to Special Charge and before he delinquents me. Might as well do it. I mean, we're in delinquent range anyways. Sure, we have four DCs for a reason, so that's fine. That'll help us if we ever want to go Drampa. Plus, it's more fightings, right? So, we'll go Turbo. And, uh... But yeah, Toxpex Lunala is a pretty fun deck. I do think Toxpex Lunala definitely has its potential. Lunala Mewtwo might still be good. Does he do subscribe battles? Um, yes. I put up a pub trade for an Absol. Waiting for that to go through. And then I'm going to test the Serena Absol deck I made. And then I'll be doing my viewer battles. And then I'll probably just end the stream. Yep, I put up a pub for waiting for that to go through. And then I do viewer battles. But yeah, it's all good. I'll be doing the viewer battles. Delinquent. I knew it. So, okay, so thank God I played that special charge then. But we need to get an energy. Yeesh, Sylveon, who made this? He's out of crushing, which is good, I guess. Sure. Alright, if we don't tap that an energy, it's rip. I think if we get a DC, I'm just gonna keep loading energy on my uh Lanka Rock. This actually doesn't seem too bad. Um, how does that work again in my deck? Um, I mean Lunala talks effects pretty straightforward, I think, but uh that's a deck that definitely definitely basically just works, you know, you max elixir your basics. Once you go uh tox effects, you just poison them. Choice band rip. Uh don't think we have any floats. Yikes. I think you grab two puzzles here too off of that uh magical ribbon. Ooh, that DC. Now I can actually use my dream. Ooh, god, please get double tails. Okay, please, no energy. Sicka, that's not good. At least it was an energy though, so thank god. Um, so Dark you need an absolute. Oh, are you heading out, Steven? See ya. Thanks for tuning in the stream. It means a lot. Uh, yeah, I do need an Absol. I put up a pub trade, though, and hopefully it goes through by the end of this game. If it doesn't, then uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I do need an Absol. The Sun and Moon one, by the way. Not not the not the uh, Roaring Skies one. Ah, I'm not even going to bother with that. Because that'll just delay the uh, me getting energy. I think if he just stalls my Rayquaza, it's bad. He maxed Potion, too, didn't he? Oh boy, there is a double puzzle. I might even just concede. This is kind of getting boring to play. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah. Absol Serena is a deck I will be testing after this game if we can get the Absol to go through on pubs. Double Tails on Crut. No, and he gets heads. I mean, we can still Turbo Storm, so it's not a big deal. Okay, thank God. There's a reason why we got Rayquaza in here. It's for when we do play against my boy Sylveon. Handiwork. Actually, it's not my boy. Sylveon is nothing like my boy. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to concede. <laughs> this matchup. I don't know if we can win. I'm just going to concede. I mean, it's Sylveon. I didn't even play against a deck that would have been fun. Trade didn't go through. Rip. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys. I'll show you the deck here. I'm I'm going to be make, uh, making a video on very soon and also testing out on stream probably before I do viewer battles. So we'll check it out here. Uh, Absol Serena. I literally just need one more Absol. But yeah, this deck right here. This deck is pretty insane. Basically what you do is you use Future Sight, and you can rearrange the top four cards of your opponent's deck, and then you use Serena, make their hand basically go to zero, and then you take knockouts with Doom Desire, or Doom News, and then you can Rocket Sandy Work Mill if you really want to do that too. This deck is really good, and the reason I run Birch over N, you never want to play N when you're playing a Serena deck. This deck, does it have potential to be a good deck? Could be. It 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 kind of auto losses to Sylveon because they can just get three cards. I don't have Sun and Moon one, sorry. Alright, that's fine. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, I put up a decent pub trade anyways, but yeah, this deck it's gonna be pretty OP. Pretty pretty fun. Uh, does anyone need a Sylveon? Um yeah, if anyone needs a Sylveon, my boy RCM Blocks has you hooked up. Um 
Actually, I don't have any Sylveons yet. I don't really want to get any because I don't want to be. I don't want to make a Sylveon deck. I don't want to be a scumbag, you know. Uh, but let's take a look at this potion deck again. This deck was going pretty well for me. I mean, that game wasn't bad. We still shut off the deck decently. Field blower. I mean, we might need to throw in another switching guard. I mean, we have Manaphy though. That's right. I was we got the Manaphy for that free retreat. Maybe I can throw in. I don't know. I guess I could take out. I guess Huey wouldn't be terrible. I don't know. This deck is really cool, though. It's like, it's the weirdest deck I've ever made, but I think I think the potion is the cure to the meta. Oh, there you go. Jack needs a Sylveon, it looks like. There you go. Um, So, there you go. Oh, Toxpex Lunala. Here we go. We'll take a look at this deck again. I actually don't have any... I got rid of my Fuller Toxpex, but uh, if I get one more Toxpex, I can uh, still continue to make this deck. Uh, what changes would I make to it, though, is the question. Tapu Lele, right, we, Tapu Lele, I forgot I got one now. We could throw in Lele in this deck for sure. And what else? I guess Choice Band. Actually, no, I, I remember when I made that video, I was like, you don't need Choice Band. Do we have any more of these? I really like this artwork on this Max Potion. Uh, pardon me, we'll just, no, I just burped, rip. Um, yeah, this deck is uh, still pretty fun to play. I do still like this Marini. It's still a good Marini, in my opinion. I might even play two, but the Poison Sting one is also pretty good, too. In case you whiff an energy, you can maybe get damage on the board via Poison Sting. I just need one more Toxapex, and then I can do it. Hi, Dabbing Bob. Dab. You don't even want to know what the dab does. I dab a lot in school. Oh, my God. I'm literally known on Snapchat for, like, the kid that dabbed. It's really, really cringy. Terminator Box. This is also still one of my favorite decks to play. This deck is really fun. I guess we'll wait for the game to load, or the trade to go through, I guess. I can make this Turdinator box deck I was looking into making. Actually, I need more turrets. Never mind. Rip, rip. If I had, if I had quad turrets, I could have done it, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that. I'm not going to bore you guys. We'll find some more games and wait. I still need to do a daily metal challenge, I think. Who? what metal decks do I have? I didn't build Excadrill Delmise. By the way, I don't really like that deck. Um, let's see, Mega Scizor, I can play Mega Scizor, that's another daily, uh, Evo, Rayquaza, Sobaleo, that's the budget version though, I don't really want to play my budget deck, um, what else, Sobaleo, Lugia, Scizor, oh, I don't know, yeah, it doesn't matter, we'll just play another random deck that I think is fun, maybe a Sun and Moon deck that I, uh, Guardians Rising deck here that I, uh, built, I don't know, I'm trying to go through all my decks, I have so many dang decks, dude, jeez, someone stop me. I make too many decks. Look at how many decks I make. Holy cow. Jeez. I can't even remember which win which is which. Ooh, actually, you know what? We were talking about Glissopod earlier in the stream, so uh, we'll do that. Uh, I have a Toxpex GX Full Art. I mean, I don't... I mean, the thing is with Toxpex, right, is like, I don't know if it's any good. I mean, a Full Art wouldn't be bad, but I don't know if I really want to trade any of my packs or anything away for one right now, because I don't really need one, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't need one. Like, an extra one would be good. Like, yeah, having it would be good, but it's like, I, the stuff I have right now to trade, I don't really know if I want to trade, um, I don't want to trade anything for, uh, Toxpex right now. Just because, you know, I don't really see if it's going to be that good. I might, I still might do a Toxpex video in the future. Oh, wait, where is my Gilsapod deck? There we go. I'm going to add, a uh, Lorantis. I'm going to change this deck up a bit. We're going to, we're going to build this deck a little bit differently now. We're going to take out the Hammers. We're going to take out... Take out the skull grunt. And I think we're gonna go one Bulu. Yeah, because we were talking about this earlier in the stream. So we're gonna try out the one Bulu. And uh, we'll put the Fomantis in too. Uh, how many Lorantis do we need? I guess we can go three, not nah, two. We'll run a split of the promo in the regular one. We're gonna have to take out something. I don't know what to take out. Ah, seven grass is a good amount. I eh, we can take out... Eh, max looks are sure, whatever. Yeah, that seems fine. Well, 3-3 three, three might be better, too. 4-3, maybe? We can play a third full mantis. Yeah, this seems fine. I like the flare gun in the deck. It's really good. Flare gun can be a really good card. Uh, we'll try We'll try out this uh, Lorantis uh, Gosapod deck. You can have it for free? Really? I mean, okay. Sure. It means a lot, man. What's your IGN? Have, do you have yet? What's your in-game name? What's your IGN? Do you have me added? 
Uh, I mean, let's see. if your name's RCM, nah. If your name's RCM, I don't have you on our friends list. So yeah, feel free to add me. And then uh, I guess yeah, send it. Okay, we'll we'll play the Galissapod. We'll play Galissapod uh, Lorantis, even though I forgot to rename it, but whatever. We'll we'll play this deck a little bit more. Sure. How long have we been streaming for? One hour and twelve minutes. Dang, it feels a lot more shorter than that. It honestly, feels like I've been streaming for maybe like half an hour, not even. I don't know. I think it's RCM Blocks. I don't know how to tell. Huh. I mean, if you play a game, you should see your in-game name, but, uh, I guess just add me then. I guess, yeah, you can add me then and then send, send me a request. Add me then, and then after this game, I'll accept your friend request. Lose the coin flip. Rip. Ah, oh, we don't play Forest either. Oh, I should put Forest in this deck. I forgot. <laughs> Rip. Add me then. Yeah, okay, so add me then, and, uh, I'll accept after this game. Depending on how this game goes. Maybe this game goes super slow or really fast. I don't know. Yeah, I should have put Forest in this deck, but I forgot to get out Max Elixirs for Forest. I probably should do that. Yeah, it's a, that's a rip in the chat. Mmm. This is not... Okay, what do we start? I think we go Fomantis. And we'll put Wimpod and Boo on the bench. Sure. This hand's actually really good. We can actually use a Max Elixir for once. Hopefully that goes well. I have just traded you the absolute. Wait, you accepted the thing? Oh my god. My friend Evan's in the chat. <laughs> oh my god. Evan, please. Um, I- on pubs. Wait, on pubs, Thomas? If you have, then uh, I'll just- well, I don't want to concede that- Oh, he's playing Volcanion. Oh my god, of course. Yeesh. I think I just concede anyways, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know if I want to play against my boy Volk. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm, if you did, then I'll definitely uh, start doing that. Okay. Okay. And, uh, oh my. Evan, don't worry, I'll be on BO3 soon. Unless I'm going out with my friend. Okay, um. I feel, I feel really bad. Sorry, Ace Syndrome, but hopefully that free win gets you closer to that Fuller Lysander. Um, yeah, but thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Sweet. Um, yeah, and enjoy. By the way, this card, this is a really good card now. So, yeah, definitely. Okay, there we go. We got our Absols. We can test out Absol Serena now. We'll do a test game with it, and then I'll do a viewer battle or two. It said you have reached your friend limit. Okay, um, I'll unfriend someone then, real quickly. I'll unfriend someone that I don't really see online that often. Sure. I don't know. I honestly can't keep track of who's online all the time, but I'll choose someone that I don't usually see that much. All these people, I mean, I could unfriend Mike PECGO because he doesn't even upload videos anymore on PECGO, but I don't know. Me and him were good friends back when he did, so I don't really know if I want to do that. Um, Dang it, there's so many people here that, like, I still, like, I know still play the game. Dang it, dude. Who could I unfriend? I don't want to unfriend someone and be like, yo, I'm sorry. I mean, I could have friend a blue golf ball too. I guess he doesn't play PC Joe anymore either. Zor, I I can't tell who's online or not. Dang it, dude. Um, I mean, we could unfriend Tyler, but again, that's like one of those people that like I don't think I could ever unfriend because taboo. Oh, dude, I feel it. Dang it, dude. I I genuinely do not know who to unfriend here. Hmm? Hold on. Uh, do 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 do. Who is not online that much? I can't tell. Um, I guess, nah, I th I've seen him online, dude, long dog, is dude. dude, Link, I see him online too, I think, oh my gosh, this is actually kind of sad, Jonah, mm, nah, I see him online, oh my god, dude, please, can I find someone to unfriend, Fernando, uh, okay, I, oh, I really regret that, look, Fernando, if you ever see this, Re-add me. All right, there you go. I unfriended someone. You should be able to add me now. I'm sorry, Fernando, if you ever see this. I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I had to do it. I, I can't tell who's online or not. I have so many friends on. I never check my friends list anyways. Uh, you should be able to add me now. All right, hopefully. Hopefully. 
Oh, but yeah, we'll go over we'll to the Absol Serena deck, and here we go. Um, I don't know how really the best way to play it. I like having two Leleys in the deck, but again, I don't have another one. Shaman's really good in the deck, though, too, because it allows you to do more T1 Serenas. I mean, you could also go 3-3-2, three, three, because you mainly rely on the one Serena with the Devo Spray. I don't know what to take out. I think every card in this here is just really, really good. Maybe Skullgrunt, because you're already getting rid of their hand size anyways, but I don't know. Close your eyes and pick. I wish. I wish. Um, okay, maybe I'll just unfriend one more person. Maybe it won't let you, even though I've technically am able to, like, do thing now. Uh, so many people that I still see play this game. Like, I've run into a few of these people all the time. There's, like, no one I don't know who doesn't play this game still. I should probably maybe go to the top area, because if I go to the bottom, I never really check in the C area who's online. Oh, man, this is tough. Ah, oh, man, I can't. Even in my good conscience. Okay, alright. Alright, but yeah, we'll take a look here at this deck then while uh, RCM um, does this thing. So, yeah, this this deck is really, really scary. Again, I think it kind of auto-losses to Sylveon because they just magical ribbon out of it. You can't do anything about Sylveon. Maybe decks like Lorantis are kind of tough too because as they get energy back. As long as they can keep cycling energy, um, yeah, it's not too fun. But I mean, this deck is still really, really, really threatening. Like you play against the right matchup, this deck can really be good. Does your max still? Okay. Um, is your in-game name RCM Blocks? And oh, Jesse De Griffin, why did you stop having the face cam? I don't know. I mean, I liked it, but at the same time, it was like the quality wasn't the greatest. I don't know. I'll probably redo it in the future. Maybe for like certain videos. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of regret getting rid of face cam, but at the same time, I just like, you know. I didn't really think the quality was that good, and I'm not like, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I just unfriended I just unfriended someone. How do I not have... Alright, we're just gonna unfriend random said I don't know if I see online. If if I see online you ever see this and you see me unfriend you, message me in game or just re-add me because I apologize for doing this. Dang it. <laughs> Dude, so many people on this game that I still talk to. Uh I can't unfriend anyone the Z's because I don't know if they're ever online or not. Okay, we'll see if I can add you now, because I technically unfriended two people. What is it? RCM blocks, yeah. Hmm, I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, I should technically only have 249 friends, or 48 friends now. Okay, alright, we're gonna have to unfriend some more people. Ah, uh, uh, I feel bad. I feel, I feel bad, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Actually, I think I can unfriend Chicken Man. I think he's banned, or something like that. I don't know. Ah. Uh. Okay, I guess we can... I haven't seen this guy online, I think, in a while. Um, and I guess we can also unfriend... We can unfriend this guy. Offense Prime Minister. That's my cousin's account, by the way. Alright, hopefully it, your reactions are just priceless. Yeah, I know. That was one thing that I really liked about Facecam, is it, it lets you do a lot more um, personality. Oh, dude, really? Bro, I've unfriended, like, nine people. Um... That's what I liked about doing face cam is uh, I got to unfriend people. Look, if, if you see this and I unfriend you, or if you're in the chat and I actually unfriend you, just re-add me. I'll probably do a I'll do an unfriend spree later. No, I think I've seen him online. Smell X. I haven't seen this guy online. I think uh, this I feel dirty. Um, oh, I see this guy online all the time. I don't want to unfriend like Tyler and like Mike PC Joe and Blue Golf Ball. Because, like, they're like, you... And I have Zapdos on here, too, I just realized. I can't unfriend him, because he still does videos. Oh, okay, we're just going to unfriend a few people here. But, yeah, this this Absol Serena deck, we're going to try out in just a minute, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, man, I I, I apologize for unfriending you guys, if you, if you see this. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. Still not working. Uh, 
Hmm, my goodness. Um, I actually, I think you can send private trades to people that aren't on, that aren't on your friends list. I'd be like, put it up on pub, but like, that's, that's gonna get sniped too quickly. There's no way that'll work. Dang, dude, what is this? Alright, we're gonna have to just keep unfriending people. Ugh, this is too dirty, but it's like, bro. I just unfriend names that I don't usually see that much on my friend list, I guess, sure. But again, if I unfriend you, just feel free to refriend me, I apologize. But I have to, I can't, you know, it shouldn't be this glitch. It should let me literally unfriend like one or two people and then, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I might, mm. is there a way to send a private trade? Is there a way to send private trades when people are on your friends list? I think there is. I've, I've gotten private trades before, I think, from people I don't even know. It's possible. Aren't on your friends list. I don't know. There better be. I don't know. Why is this not working, though? It's kind of dumb. It should let me... Unless, like, I literally only have, unless I have, like, 260 friends, maybe that's the case, but I don't know. Dang it, dude, I talk to so many people on this game, and it's like, I can't keep track of who's who and who even stays online anymore. Again, if I'm friend you, I apologize. Alright, please work. Please, let me, let me send a friend request. Oh my god, boy. Uh, oh, there is. Okay. Uh, Kusan Egg Nico. There is. Okay, how? How? Tell RCM so he can send. Alright, you know what, guys? After the stream and stuff, I'm probably just gonna do, like, a, a friend sweep. I know Outcast has done that. I'll probably do that, too. Because, it, like, I don't know if I have over 250. Like, obviously, I'm not gonna just count one by one. So, I, I honestly can't tell. There, It doesn't even tell you, either. Do I have any friend? Oh, I do people. I do have people blocked. I didn't even realize I actually have people blocked in this game. Whoa. Um. I mean, I guess this guy. I, I haven't seen him either. I don't even know. I'm unfriending people that I might like still see all the time online. I don't know. Whoops. Oh wait, let me send the friend request. Okay, there we go. I think it works now. What? Are you kidding me? Is it because I sent the friend request? Oh my god, I don't even know. Yes, you can send private trades, but those people have to be in the same lobby. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. All right, RCM. Okay, here's what you do, RCM. What you do is you go to chat, and you go to the trading post thing here, and then you just you just send something. I'll just say, uh, cap up there. Just say that, and then, and before someone recognizes me. Um, so you say that, and then you go to the trading post. And then it should let you, because if I go here, I think. I don't even know. <laughs> this is so weird. Is is this how you do it? Look, I know you guys are getting bored. I know you guys want me to see this deck. I'd love to play test it. But yeah, I you guys, while we're waiting, do you, is there anything you think I could maybe take out and add in? Um, Is there anything you think that I could maybe react? I'm on it. Mean, Sableye might not be too bad in this deck either. You can go Sableye and then just Rocky Rocket's Handiwork spam. I could try that. Maybe. Should I? I don't know. But yeah, if you, while we're waiting, do you guys think you guys see any cards you can, you know, take out and add in? I don't know. Um, I don't ask for two tepa lele. I don't have tepa lele. Uh, why? Like, sh I don't know why this ain't working, man. This is. Oh, there we go. RCM blocks. Okay, I'll try and add you and see if it works. Nah, still won't let me add you. Okay, um, okay, I'll say Kappa. Actually, I'll just say looking for five secret UB. Just, I don't want to, like, say something that is irrelevant. Okay, there. Um, and then I think you should be able to try it now. I don't know how. Both be in lobby and then send private trade. Oh, okay, I know what you mean. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so here, I'll show you RCM. You go here, um, you go to trade, and then... It should let you. And you go here, you go to create trade, you go to private trade, and you go to public, and it should... Yep, see, there you go. So you, you go to trade, you go to create trade, you go to public, and then you type in... You just type in my name, and then I should pop up. 
because that's how you do it. There you go. Hi. Yo, okay. So hopefully, hopefully that uh, works. It should work. Because I technically am still in the lobby. Alright, so if that method works, it is all good. Um, by the way, don't send, like, don't ask for an Altaria. I don't have Altarias. Um, that happened a few times already, so if you see an Altaria, don't add it. All right. So we'll try out this deck in just a minute. I mean, we could do it now. Well, I guess he does that, sure. All right, we'll do the Absol Serena. Here we go. We're going to play this new deck and see it, and then I'll do a video. Yo, welcome back, Big Meg big Mega Gyarados. We're just about to try out my Absol Serena deck that I have built here on PDCGO, and we're going to see it in action right now. I'm also trying to sort out some stuff with RCM blocks and being able to send private trades. Because some reason, I'm unfriending a bunch of my friends that I don't see anymore. And for some reason, it still won't let me add people. So there you go. This guy's got nice sleeves. All right. We'll try the deck out. I did it. Okay. Um, when the game's over, I will accept the trade. When game is over, I'll accept the trade. All right, there we go. Oh, great spelling there. Like, what? <laughs> what did I just put in the chat? Okay. Ooh, this hand is actually really good if we can get Revitalizer. All right, but yeah, basically what you do this deck is you future sight, you control what they, you basically dump their entire hand with Serena and red card. And then what you do is you use future sight to control what they top deck, and then you knock them out with doom news. It's that simple. Again, this deck kind of beat, doesn't really have a good matchup against Sylveon. Or Rangaroo. Or Octillery. <laughs> Yikes. But at least, at least with the Octillery, he still has to draw into it, which is fine. Interesting deck. Thanks. But yeah, while you're watching this, guys, uh, you guys have any good tweaks I can make to the deck? I mean, I'll probably think of some tweaks, too. Maybe Silent Lab wouldn't be bad, because, I mean, if you do play against a Rangaroo, that's, like, also kind of an auto-loss. Yeah, again, there's so many ways your opponent can get out of this Absol Lock. I don't think it's a perfect deck by any means. But I do think the deck is still, like, good enough to maybe, maybe work. The stream looks better than your two videos. They look blurry. Yeah, it's it's my OBS settings, man. My laptop being too strong, so my videos are always kind of, like, blurry. And it's also because when I render them in uh, Sony Vegas, I don't know. Alright, he didn't do anything else, meaning he has a dead hand, which is perfect. Um, actually, I'm just going to get rid of these two, because it doesn't really matter what I get rid of there, to be honest. And I think, actually, you know, we'll grab the Lele. We'll go Sika. Who cares? We'll go Sika. And we'll hope to, uh, hope to hit the future site, and then maybe hope to spam, spam thing. Uh, is there mail? Nah, okay, we don't put, we don't have trails mail in the stack, which is something maybe you could add. I couldn't really find room for mail, though. Like, I think stuff like Flare Gun and stuff like that is just way too important not to add. But yeah. Apologies if, like, my videos are blurry and you don't like it. Uh, rip. Okay, I can't even, well, I could do forest and then puzzle, but, yeah, sure. I guess. Not drawing that many cards, but, uh, whatever. Ooh, okay, that changes everything, then. That, that, that changes everything. So we can only do one puzzle of time now. Uh, one double puzzle, so we gotta keep that in mind. But we have another one, so that's fine. Alright, we go level, and we can grab our bound suite. Is the other shaman in the deck? It is not. Okay, I think I will... Uh, we'll just get rid of Skull Grunt and Flare Grunt. And uh, we will just, I guess, just grab, uh, grab the Serena. I mean, he didn't do much else anyway, so it's not really a big deal. So we'll go Serena and see what we can get rid of that my opponent's got cooking up in his hand. Uh, we'll get rid of that level ball so you can't get another Pokemon down. And we'll go Future Sight. Uh, opponent's deck, alright? Let's see what my opponent is. Oh my god. Give him that DCE, we'll give him the Zoark, we'll give him the Tauros, and then at last we'll give him the Kikui. But the cool thing is, you literally just, you can keep controlling it like this. That was about to draw into a lot of stuff there. Like, that Tauros could have been ugly. Uh, I'm trying to get a new gaming keyboard mouse. Anyone have suggestions? I guess I could, like... I just use a basic mouse, a Logitech mouse from Walmart. That's that was like twelve bucks for my mouse. I had a mouse pad on my laptop that I used to use, but that clicking noise people hated, and it drove me crazy too, and I didn't like it. So you can probably just do that. If we can find a dark energy, I think we just win next turn. And we could get rid of my forest, but that's fine. 
Who cares? If we can just find an energy, we will uh, win the game. Look at that. Doom news. Because we know he's going to top deck Zoark. So that's fine. Go Sika, maybe uh, dump some more things. Or not. Rip the Devo sprays. Okay, well, guess we just do Doom News and uh, hope that he, uh, I mean, we know he's going to draw into Zoark, so I think we win the game. But yeah, you can see how powerful this deck is. Look at that. We, we just, whoop, my opponent is rip. My opponent's like, oh no, what What am I going to do? I drew into a Zoark. My hand is dead. This deck is hilarious. And look at that. See? My boy Absol. Um, obviously, he didn't really get much, but that's the point of this deck is you don't want your opponent to get anything. So... Yeah. Zoark with three Tauros. Wow. Interesting. We'll do another game, though. I actually... It's been about an hour and 30 minutes in. I might do your matches now, to be honest. Actually, it wouldn't let me add people. That is a rip. Um, My boy, Politoed. Yeah, it wouldn't let me add people. Actually, I, yeah, I don't think we can do... I, does it let me battle people from the chat? Let me see. It lets me battle... Nah, it doesn't. Yeah. Is there? I think there is a way, though, to send battle requests if they're not on your friends list. I think you have to be in the battle chat, then, don't you? If there is one. I don't even know what I'm saying. There might not be a battle chat. Let's see. I can do uh casual battle challenge. So I go here. Um, I guess just type in the battle challenge chat, and maybe I will be able to battle you. I, I don't know if that's how it works, but I will do Veer matches now. I'll do, I think, two. And then I'll stop the stream, depending on how long the games go, but yeah. Uh, what's he gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna edit our Absol deck a little bit. See what we can add. Um but yeah, I guess just say something in the battle chat and then maybe I can send a battle request. Unless you're already if you're already on my friends list, feel free to send me a battle request ASAP. Okay, what would not work in here that I think we can take out? Maybe a via seeker, nah. Maybe Skullgrunt isn't that good. But, like, Skullgrunt Delinquent lowers the hand size even more. I might... I think another red card would be perfect. So maybe I'll just take out... I could take out Lysander. Like... Nah. I mean, I guess... I don't know. Maybe you have to log out and then log in again. Maybe, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I am ready, by the way, RCM. I am. You can uh, send it anytime. Um, okay, so, maybe at the log out. Maybe. I don't know, though. I think that, I think that is true, because I was recording a video, um, yesterday, and when I was, I was, like, going on, like, I was typing in, like, this word in, um, the collection, and it, it was for deck boxes and sleeves, and only the deck boxes showed up, no sleeve showed up, so, and then when I logged out, it worked again, so maybe that is the case. Uh, what to take out, though? There's so, I don't know what to take out. Maybe we can take out a dark... I don't know. I like the five dark. I think five dark is perfect. It's in the trading thing. Okay, hold on. All right, yeah, I guess that's fine. All right, we'll we'll set the trade. And uh, I don't know how to send battle quests. I don't even know if you guys can send battle quests unless I'm not added. Um, all right, let's see. Add friend. Yeah, it still won't let me. I don't know. I don't know. This is just weird. Um, no, it says you haven't uh, sent me a private offer yet. Um, so what are, we gotta do RCM is you gotta go to a private trade, and you gotta go to public, and there you go. Do you want me to just send the trade if you have, oh, it is, oh, oh okay, right, uh, alright, so we'll do this. Um, does it matter what I give you? What do I record with? OBS. And does it matter what I give? It doesn't matter what I give you. Um, but yeah, I'll do, I, I can't tell if I can do viewer battles. Through here, I guess we'll log out. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Can you battle people when they talk in this chat? LOL. Or lol. Lol. Uh, what? I just did it. Huh? Wait. Are you talking to Pikachu? I don't even know. Okay. But it doesn't matter what I give you. You said I can have it for free, but I don't know. I guess I can give you, I'll give you something that's like, I don't want to like, give you something completely bad. I'll give you something like, that you might want, maybe, uh, what, what can I give out? What could I give him? 
Um, by the way, stuff like giveaways and stuff, I don't know if I'd ever do that. Um, if you're wondering, maybe I can do giveaways in the future. I'll give you an enhanced hammer. I mean, you can always counter it if, if whatever, for whatever reason. No online battle. Okay, well, uh, rip, rip that. Okay, um, is there any other way we could, we, maybe we could have some battles, guys? I don't know. Unless you guys, like, find a public battle and then, like, do it that way. I mean, I could just try logging out. Sure. Okay, I'll log out and re-log back in, and maybe we'll see if it'll let me add people. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Okay, so if you guys want to do battles, if if y'all want to do a battle, I'll do two. And okay, so if you guys want a battle, I'll do two battles, and then and add me if you do. First two people add me. get the battle there you go so hopefully this loads up before that and if for whatever reason it still says my friends list is full then i guess i'll just unfriend a few more people hopefully this logout method works though hopefully the logout hopefully the logout message um thing works jesse we'll see it should i mean it worked worked for me last time i remember that boy all right Takes a long time for PCG to load. Should take a few more seconds, and then we should get back in. If if my friends list says it's still full for whatever reason, then uh, what we'll do. All right, thank you, RCM. Oh, yo, I got a lock pack. Ooh, we're gonna open that up. We're gonna open that up right now, actually. I be yo, shout out to you, RCM. Actually, okay, we'll open up this pack. But yeah, just send me a send me a thing. Can I battle? Yeah, you can, but. If it doesn't let you add me, then it's rip. I don't know if unfriending people will work, but we can, uh, we can, uh, we can do this live stream and we can open up one Roaring Skies pack. I think my last pack I opened, I pulled a Tapu Coco, so the odds of me even getting anything out of this Roaring Skies pack are probably just, I'm probably just gonna pull, like, something like an Altaria or, like, a Bayonet. Yeah, this pack sucked. I didn't really need anything from Roaring Skies anyways, I already have four Shamans, plus with Lele. You don't need it. Alright, let's see if it'll let me send this request. Yeah, not nah, still. It still only says I have a full uh, thing. Rip, 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 rip. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can unfriend more people. Oh no, you're max. Okay, well then. All right, guys. Well, then I think I'll just end off the stream. Then if I'll okay, what I'll do tonight before we um for my next stream, I'll I'll clean out of, of my friends list a bit. I'll unfriend people I don't see online and whatever. I'll just unfriend some people. That I don't think play much more, and then we'll end, and then the next stream I do, we will do viewer battles, and hopefully it all works out nicely. And before I need to get a demo account to get more friends, Kappa Ross. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the stream and the video, because this is also gonna be a VOD, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, rip. Two fifty, two fifty limit, please. All right, well, thank you guys for watching the stream. My first stream. Leave some feedback if you're watching this as a VOD. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to you, RCM. Shout out to O-Dog. Shout out to everyone that showed up. Shout out to Jesse. Shout out to Jack. Shout out to Big Mega Gyarados. Shout out to Kasun and Casio. And shout out to Brian. Sh I can't say your last name. Well, shout out to Brian. Shout out to Taklin S2. And shout out. I'll just do some shout outs here for people um, that showed up. Shout out to Thomas Laurent. Shout out to Shadow Swordfist, Shadow Swordfist, my my friend, my friend Evan in real life, and shout out to Dabbing Bob and Lewis. I'm gonna dab for that, and yeah, shout out to Stephen Poland. Thank you guys and Todd Feldman. Shout out to Todd Feldman, and yeah, shout out to Free to Play Mobile. Shout out to Alex Hollingsworth, and shout out to Finn Lake. Thank you guys all for showing out to the stream. When's next stream? Um, probably. Tomorrow? I mean, I'll probably stream more on the weekend than I do now. Maybe, maybe tonight. Maybe I'll do another one tonight. Maybe another one tonight. Like, late night. Depends if I'm, depends if I'm gonna go out with my friends tonight, though. Um, depends if I'm going out or I have time. The only problem with streaming at night is, like, I can't be this loud because my parents are gonna be in bed. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the stream, and, uh, my first stream, leave some feedback.
streaming was really fun. This was a really fun time. Definitely going to do more in the future. Hopefully the frame rate wasn't too bad. And yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys on another video. Um, but yeah, I'm, oh yeah, by the way, I'm friend this. I know. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a uh, gems guide video on this weekend, probably tomorrow or Sunday. So yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching and peace out.